So the Radio Hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And, you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day of camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ music. Or something. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise... Wise, cracking, smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh... And do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. That's why Nurse Kelly went home early.
All good? All good? This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like, climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power-up. Um, but that's where this comes in. Does magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kinda janky looking, but... It's worth giving a shot. So... We can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that? Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but. Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Ow. Ow. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them! On the fucking radio! Fuck!
they know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh, fuck! What? I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? What is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, uh, just get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Shit. You got a better idea? Well, if it's got hearing, like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. And yeah, I mean, it would hurt like hell. But okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. All right. Okay. Come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... Almost. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Right. So, there's something missing. I do. What's missing? Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go, quickly. Oh, fuck!
fucking spreading. You have to cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Shit. Fuck. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just, just hang on, hang on. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. <laughs> then get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Uh, keep pressure on. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not, um, but it's, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh. Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? Like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Here we have the hermit. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps given some thought, 
the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Emma! Jesus Christ. She's... Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! Emma, is that you?